The following is fan-based opinion piece. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is owned by Lauren Faust, Hasbro Studios, Hasbro Inc., DHX Media, and The Hub. Please support the official release. So today, I'm just going to talk about how I became a brony. I used to watch My Little Pony when I was a really young kid, and while I don't quite remember which one it was, based on the timeline, it was probably reruns of My Little Pony Tales. So My Little Pony was one of those shows that my babysitters would put on to shut me up for a while while they went off to do something else. And let's face it, I was four, of course I'm going to be entertained by prancing pastel ponies. And I do recall owning some of the toys, although for the life of me I don't remember which ones or whatever became of them, but I do remember that I had My Little Pony as a substitute for rubber duckies. So when I heard that they were redoing the show, I had my hipster, rose-tinted, thick nostalgia goggles on, insisting that it was not going to be as good as the original. Now keep in mind, I didn't actually remember anything about the show, all I could remember was the feeling that I got when I watched it, which was of course a feeling of great joy. So finally, I think somewhere in the run of season 1, my friend sat me down and had me watch the show. I don't quite remember which episode she showed me, but I think that she started me off with the pilot. So as the show played on and I realized how good it was, I realized that if I was going to stick by my guns and say that the original was better, I was going to need more ammunition. I was going to have to rewatch the show. Needless to say, after 22 minutes I came running back to Friendship is Magic like there was a no tomorrow. So why bring this up now? Well, frankly, because Bridal Gossip was my brony admission episode. Sorry, dude. I'm a sucker for anyone or anything that can make me laugh out loud. Most things just make me smile, maybe chuckle, but this episode had the first moment which had me laughing out loud. I bet you can guess which moment that is, too. <sighs> She's an evil enchantress and she does evil dances. So this simple moment had me a brony instantly, not just because it was funny, but because of why it was funny. This scene was only funny because it was Fluttershy and because it was Pinkie Pie. My favorite kind of humor is character humor, and that's basically when something is funny because oh that's so them, or it's funny because oh that's so not them. This scene would not have been half as funny if any other two ponies had done it. This means that the writers had created characters so compelling that they were able to create their own humor. And this is what most shows, especially kids shows, don't bother going through the effort of doing. And so, on July 21st, 2011, I remember because I made a Facebook post, I officially became a brony. So that was my brony origin story. What was yours? Leave a comment and I will see you later. Brony on, my friends. My little